As always, let's talk three things as we dive into the topics you guys are talking about this week in the sports world. So thing number one, buyer beware. The NFL trade deadline is next Tuesday and everyone is talking about what will happen to Deshaun Watson. While we're recording this, he hasn't been traded, but of course that could change by the time the show airs. Regardless, the team that gets him will end up getting a King's Ransom for a guy with serious baggage. Trade or no trade, how bad of a look is this for the league to even have a conversation right now about trading Watson, Andy? It's like the baddest of the looks that you can have right now. It makes no sense to be talking about football and Deshaun Watson right now. He has some very serious stuff going on in the courts. 22 different women have accused him of sexual misconduct. And I don't see why teams right now are trying to bring him on in a trade where everyone should just be on the sidelines, let the court system work itself out. And whatever happens there, then you go on from there. But it makes it's really disrespectful to everyone involved, the women involved, to be talking about Deshaun Watson as a football player right now. Just let him stay on the sidelines and figure out real life stuff. Yeah, and like you said, the most ridiculous thing about this is, is why do this right now before anything is dealt with with the guy? And just an uncomfortable situation all the way around. And moving on to something a little bit more lighthearted that has taken the sports world by storm. Thing number two, Brady's historic ball. By now, you know, a fan was accidentally given Brady's 600th touchdown pass by Mike Evans, returned it without much hassle, and it was estimated that the ball was worth over half a million dollars. The Bucks and Brady tried to take care of the fan by giving him a ton of stuff, none of which I thought was even worth the ball itself other than maybe Brady's Bitcoin, but is this a bad trade, Andy, or am I just being kind of crazy right now? It's not the greatest of trades, right? I mean, but here's this guy sitting in the front row wearing a Mike Evans jersey, and all of a sudden he has Tom Brady's historic football in his hands, and he panics a little bit, and he gets rid of it for way less than he should have. Yes, Brady threw him a Bitcoin, which at this time is worth $63,000, which is a nice little scrap here for the fan. Here's 63K for you, buddy. But <laughs> what we should all do is take a lesson from this man and realize that if we get a ball or something at a game that's so important that someone from that team comes up to you and says, hey, we, we need to talk to you about this ball. We need to get this back. You tell them, no, I'll talk to you tomorrow. You go home, you sleep on it, you have a cocktail, you read Twitter, you see what everyone's saying, and you, you come up with a strategy to get the most money you can out of this ball that means something to a very rich athlete. Exactly. Hey, giving out life advice and life lessons here on Sports Seriously. We do. Moving on, <laughs> moving on to our final thing of the week. Thing number three, time to ax the chop. So, the World Series is underway and Major League Baseball is going to have the spotlight shine directly on them but that might not be the best thing for Atlanta fans. As we know, for the past 30 plus years, Braves fans have loudly and proudly done the tomahawk chop at home and you chant that goes with it. And over the course of those 30 plus years, there wasn't much, if any, pushback on the seemingly insensitive gesture. But as you know, over the past couple of years, America started to kind of change the narrative and we've seen those types of stereotypes eradicated in other parts of the world. So Andy, mm -hmm. now that these Atlanta home games are going to be prominently in the forefront, how do you expect the reaction to be? And could it spell the end for the Tomahawk Chop? It should spell the end. The end should have been many years ago. Uh, it's going to be very bad. It's going to be an ugly look for Major League Baseball. We're going to be facing, rightfully facing, ugly headlines after both these games because the biggest games of the year, you're going to have fans doing a chant that uh, Native Americans have been asking since 1991 for them to stop. And the Braves themselves stopped giving out rubber tomahawks to try to quell it a little bit. But no one has blatantly come out and said, hey, we need to stop doing this. 2021 Major League Baseball games are going to be airing in prime time and this chant is gonna be on our faces and it's gonna be embarrassing for the people there, for the Braves, and more importantly, for Major League Baseball. Hey, sports fans, if you want to watch more sports seriously, be sure to check out these clips right here and make sure you're subscribed to the channel to see all the great content from us here at USA Today Sports.